Hello COM202 students, this is Dr. Bryant with a Module 8 lecture. Cannot believe we are already hitting this mark in the course. Just hard to believe, wow. Um, but we are here and we are going to go ahead and talk about uh, impromptu speaking this week as we get ready for our final kind of performance. This is kind of your equivalent of a final exam. It's just to see how much you've progressed in the course and oh my goodness is it amazing just to watch you all grow. Um, you know my whole goal with online instruction is that it simulates the same environment that you would have gotten a face-to-face -face, uh, if not enriches it even more and I would say with this group it has been more of an enrichment uh, more than anything. So let's go ahead and talk about our agenda for this quick little section. It is going to be an overview of impromptu speaking. Uh, we're going to talk about the benefits of impromptu speaking, structure, the prep method, some tips that I'll give you, uh, and the assignments that lay ahead here in Unit 8. Okay, so the first thing, what is impromptu speaking? This is where you are just handed the mic. You talk, okay? I, I think back to the first time our youth service center coordinator at my school was handed the mic and was like told to talk about her job. Well, she was on day two at the time. And so she literally had to make up in front of a crowd of 300 parents what her job was and talk about who she was and, and how she was going to benefit the school. So that's impromptu speaking where you are kind of handed the mic and you got to go on a topic that you may or may not have a lot of information on. This is also my favorite kind of speaking. Um, another thing that comes up with impromptu speaking, that is, if you've ever seen the show, Whose Line Is It Anyway? I grew up watching the Drew Carey version, um, and I know there's a new version out now. That's all impromptu. They, I mean, they get those clues, and they have to make things up uh, out of their brain, but it demonstrates so much thinking, and so that's another reason why I like impromptu speaking so well, um, is it's kind of that Whose Line Is It Anyway type, um, type speaking, and so I really enjoy that. Okay, um, Mark Twain, I love this quote. It usually takes me more than three weeks to prepare a good impromptu speech. Yeah, all right, Mark. Um, you don't get time for preparation. If you do, it is so minimal. Um, and so the irony of that is that we'll talk about the prep method, how you can prep for an impromptu speech with the just minimal time that you may have uh, before you do that. Okay, now, there are benefits to impromptu speaking. Overall, it improves improves your oral expression and your and your think your thinking um, and delivery of your thinking so it takes it from the brain and puts it out into the audience it, and and allows them to start decoding what you're encoding uh, you get more confident the more you do it you know i think it would have been good probably for us to have had this live session earlier in the course and we may play around with that with future offerings but i thought this would kind of work as a, a better final exam for you uh, after you've had all that practice now to come live and it causes you to think quickly on your feet i I love the movies where you see the, the villain who just can think so quickly uh, without having to uh, sit down and develop too much thought on something. They just can pop right through it. Um, and so I think I like that part about it too, is just that it, it, it is so uh, easily developed on the spot. And the other thing is leadership. I mean, so many leaders are forced to impromptu speak all the time uh, in regards to situations. And so it really is going to develop you as a leader um, and the kind of people that you may have to speak to at any given time. All right. You're wanting to be an impromptu speaker. Maybe you don't want to be an impromptu speaker. Either way, these are the top five professions where impromptu speaking is a must. Look at number one, manager. Just like I was talking about leader. Impromptu speaking is a must when you're a manager. Teachers, I can't tell you how many times I've taught my class from the hip. Was it what I wanted to do? No, but I just didn't have the time I needed to prepare uh, or the materials weren't there for me to prepare. Coaches, journalists, and attorneys are all the top five professions where impromptu speaking is a must. It is a number one skill that's going to be looked for on a resume. Um, and so that just offers a little validation to why we're doing what we're doing here. Okay, structure of an impromptu speech. You're going to have the, the opening statement. This is where you still got to get your audience's attention. We talked about attention getting techniques. Okay, I think a lot of times in leadership, though, it's where you start with your anchor. You know, we are an organization where we do this. Okay, we are a Christ first organization, so we do this. Uh, you lead with an anchor. Uh, more than maybe an opening strategy. It, it just kind of depends on what you what you assess. But I, I always have been told you lead with your anchor uh, in that sense. Okay, uh, you're going to still have somewhat of a body. You kind of some main points that you want to hit real quick. Boom, boom. 
Um, and then a conclusion where you, you leave your audience thinking about something. Maybe you give them something to do, something to think about, you summarize your points, that sort of thing uh, is how you conclude an impromptu speech. All right, the prep method, here it is. You make your point at your opening. So after you've engaged them, you kind of give a, a, a thesis. It may not be real formal like it has been in your other speeches, but you make a point, all right? You provide a reason for the point. An example might be a story, um, something that can kind of support your point, um, and then you conclude by linking back to the, the original point. Um, and so that's the prep method. I think it works for, for very quick individual um, impromptu speeches. But the big idea here is just is that you are constantly circling back to your point. You're supporting and then circling back to your main point. Okay? Um, and like I said, it takes on that, that same kind of format as all the other speeches you've given. Engage your audience right away. Support. Give it some body, some main points. And then conclude. Circle back. Um, to your main point and leave your audience thinking or give them something to do. All right, assignments. Let's talk about these real quick. These are going to be in Moodle like always. I want to quickly adjust my screen here so that we can um, look at Unit 8. All right, let's do that. Unit 8, here it is. Okay, first thing, read Chapter 10. All right, you're hopefully viewing this PowerPoint right now. 10 tips for giving an impromptu speech, the devotional, and then you are ready um, to schedule an impromptu speech via the Doodle poll, and so you're going to want to do that. Schedule that uh, impromptu speech via the Doodle poll if you've not already done it. Uh, Reflection of Growth Forum. This is a traditional forum like we've done in this class. Um, in a short paragraph to each one of these four questions, you're going to respond kind of how you've grown, your major strengths now as a speaker, the things that are still remaining as a weakness, thinking about areas you've grown, Action steps to continue your growth. Small paragraph for each one of these. I'm thinking three to four sentences, um, four total paragraphs that you'll post to this forum, and then you'll respond to two other students to get a, a perfect score for this reflection of growth forum. Um, and so that is the expectation for assignment 8.2. 8.3, you will be given a link to complete um, your impromptu speaking assignment. Um, and I will make a separate video to kind of talk about the procedure for impromptu speaking um, and kind of how that'll work. But big idea is, is that once you've gotten your schedule time confirmed, you will meet with your instructor during that time on um, Google Meet or Skype or Zoom, uh, and you will give that uh, short impromptu speech to your instructor um, with very minimal preparation. And last thing is to complete the course survey. Love to get your feedback. Like I said, this is the first time we're teaching this course. We want to learn as much as we can about how to improve it for future offerings. Um, but I know this has just been a great, great session for everybody. And I look forward to continued growth uh, for me as an instructor in this class. And I pray God's blessings and peace be upon you as you end this course and move on to your next one, uh, just in pursuit of, of your God-given education. Um, thanks, and God bless you.